Hey there! So, um, today I am here to bring you a tutorial, and this this one's kind of late because a lot because you know when this video first came out, a lot of people started to do tutorials for it, but I decided to do it now because I have no not, not a lot of ideas. But this is a tutorial tutorial from the Selena Gomez video "Love You Like a Love Song." This one I took from the um the sort of beach the beach set when she's like right there with her level she kind of lover lover kind of it kind of has like a little hippie feel of it and it kind of looks like this it's like dark it's kind of like a darkish gray and fades to brown and it has like this little extendy here it and also has some nice pink lips and kind of try to do my hair like her even though I don't like to do my hair split in the middle but you know you gonna try for every once in a while and then. But uh, yeah, this is the look that I did for it. So if you guys want to see how I did this, then stay tuned. Okay, so eyelids prepped and primed. Now I'm going to start by using a dark, like a very dark gray color. So I'm going to take this um, palette from the Eye Lips Face. This is the 32 Cool Palette. It's so cool. You, they have these like at Target now. They have like um, palettes there. They cost for like $5, so it's pretty cool. So I'm going to grab this almost very dark gray color right there. I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush as usual. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. Just going to deepen a slight bit and I'm just going to go right into this brown. <laughs> Can I go right into this sort of black color? Now, because this isn't really pigmented, this is sort of perfect because it's not. I'm not making it too dark, like it's all the way black. I'm just adding just a little bit more, um, just darkness to it, most likely. So I'm just going to pass this on right over. Now I'm going to take a very dark black. Now this time I'm going to use L'Oreal's Hip Eyeshadow Duo, and this one's in Dashing, the duo. And I'm going to take a flat smudge brush like this, and I'm just going to take the black that's in it, take it on the tip and on the flat, and I'm going to put this just right on the outer corner right here. Create like a V shape with the black. Now I'm just going to take a blending brush like this, and I'm just going to blend out the black. And to create this little extended point that she has, sort of like this. Mine is kind of small because I kind of have a small lid space compared to Selena Gomez's. So, just going to take an angled brush like this, take a clean angled brush, eyeliner brush, and going in with the same dark gray that we used at first, I'm going to apply some of that on there. And try to apply a very thin line as possible, extending outwards. So I'm just going to connect it, make it as however long as you want. And then with once we applied that, I'm just going to take the top part of this line and I'm going to slightly bring the color up like this. No, I almost dropped my eyeshadows. Now I'm just going to take a soft brown um, eyeshadow and I'm going to take this one on the corner, the bottom corner of this palette, taking a blending brush, and then just right here from the top, I'm just going to softly blend out the dark gray. Oh my god, I almost dropped it again. And also bring it right here toward this little V shape that we made. Now I'm actually going to go back with the black again and then with a the small eyeshadow brush I'm going to apply this on the lower lash line. I'm actually going to go over the lid color again and I'm going to take this dark silver color that's in this elf quad and this is the for elf quad and drama. I'm going to take this 
Now I'm just going to take a black eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Master Drama um, eyeliner and this one is in Midnight Master which is just a plain black. Also going to line my, my lash line using Maybelline's Line Stiletto. Line Stiletto. Did I say that a little funny? Now, when, since I went along with this lash with the lash line, I just went ahead and went with my um, angled eyeliner brush again, and I just smudged out the black out so that way it's a little bit more darker defined, like in the video. I noticed that mine are just a little bit crooked from the other, but it's all good, right? Right. Lastly, I'm going to apply a highlight for the brow bone that I keep forgetting to do. I'm just going to take this brow bone color. I believe if the single is called Brulee, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to apply this right on my highlight all the way across. Lastly, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara, which I kind of already did, but just for the video. I'm just going to do it again. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. I'm going to go ahead and use this Milani Baked Blush, and this one is in the color Luminoso. You can hardly tell well, from the picture of what I'm looking at. You can tell like she just has like a subtle hint of very light, luminous blush. So, perfect thing. Okay, so now lastly for the lips, I'm just going to go with this very light um, pink first, and this is the Maybelline Shine Sensational. There I go again with the mm, Shine Sensational. No, it's not called Shine Sensational. This is called Color Sensational. And this one is in the color Twinkle. Color Twinkle. For some reason, I didn't really, I felt like I didn't say proper English. So I'm just going to use this one first. Okay, so once I apply that, I'm going to top it off with this lip gloss, and this is the L'Oreal um, Color Riche Lip Gloss, and this one is in Watermelon Crush. Alright, so that's it for my tutorial, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, and until then, I'll see you in the next video, bye! No, I almost dropped my eyeshadows!